In this video I will compare three different styles of work lights that you can find at your hardware store to see if I can replace my energy sapping 500 watt lights that I've used for years to light my videos. It's a case of buy beware if you're thinking of using some styles of lights as I found their performances are quite disappointing. So here are a whole bunch of work lights and things. What I'm going to do is very simply power up this 500 watt halogen light and I'll be lighting the penguins there. Then I'll be powering up these other lights here and we'll see what effect they have on looking at the penguins. And you're thinking, wow, that's a nice big fluoro light there. And sure enough, it'll pump out a lot of light. There's an LED light here. And I think a lot of people are curious about LEDs. It's really buyer beware with these, I tell you. Um, it's very interesting. And there's one very, very important thing which is missing, which makes all of this so confusing. But we'll talk about that a little bit later on. Well, there are our penguins all waiting to be looked at with lights. And I've got the lights set back at one meter, which is three foot, three and a half inches, I hope. There is our 500 watt halogen work light, which is what I want to show all the other lights against. There's our penguins again, and I'll also be shooting some slow motion footage as well, because you'll see there are some lights which have problems with slow motion. Because my work lights are fitted with barn doors, I'll be putting little barn doors on all the other lights, so we get a nice focus amount of light going on to those penguins. Okay, I'll turn all the other lights off and let's see what we get with this 500 watt halogen light. And there are my penguins and remembering the light is one meter away. Remembering also, again, I will say it's a 500 watt halogen light. And what's nice about these lights is the figure that you rarely ever see when you buy the bulbs. And remembering, I'm going to get to this a bit later on in the video. But hopefully when we see the other lights up against the penguins, you'll start to realize what's going on. And I'm also going to shoot a little bit of slow motion video. And I will show you that this light gives off a nice stable light and I don't get any flickering when I go in to do a little bit of bash and crash on those penguins. Don't forget Spongebob's there as well, but he's a ring in. Well, okay, I think I've shown you what a 500 watt work light can do. And along the way, in that penguin bashing scene, of course, the bat broke. And that is not a real McCoy Thomas item. That's a knockoff item. And I dare say it just shows you the sort of low quality that stuff is. The next work light we'll look at is a fluorescent 55 watt work light. It's quite large. There it is next to my 500 watt halogen light we looked at. And we'll just push that aside for a moment and we'll talk about the fluorescent here. What's nice about these lights is they are nice and cool to the touch. They don't get hot. I suppose they're not using much power. I've got it set, the camera set at tungsten and that's why this is looking very blue. It's more balanced to daylight or around, it's over 5,000 Kelvin, but I don't want to get caught up in those figures. Yeah, if you can touch this, it's nice and cool. It's, I think the physical size of it is what I don't like. It's just very big. And to replace a bulb in this, I think you're up for about $15 where I live. It's probably a lot less where you, you live because I live in Rip-Off Australia. What is always interesting when you're looking at fluorescent lights, I always like to make a comparison to halogen. So they're saying 55 watt fluorescent is equivalent to 280 watt halogen. But then there's this blah blah here. Fluorescent work lights are cooler and cheaper to use and yet just as bright as halogen work lights. And that sort of makes it very confusing to a lot of people. This fluorescent work light is excellent if you're doing painting inside because of the high Kelvin value of the light, you're getting a fairly good representation of your colors. But there's information here which talks about the specifications of the light, but there's a really important piece of information that's missing and I can't find it anywhere on the box or in this area here. And that's, again, what this video is all about. Okay, what is nice, because it is such a cool light, I was able to fashion up some barn doors just by using some black cardboard. And it's probably time to give this a spin against the penguins. Okay, here we are looking at the penguins with our big 55 watt fluorescent work light. And I've got the camera set to tungsten, that's why it's looking all very bluish. But I could easily set it to daylight and I could take that bluish away. I've got the exposure set the same as that big 500 watt tungsten light that we looked at first up. So to me those penguins are looking a fair bit dimmer. Even though the work light is a fair bit larger than the tungsten light we first looked at. But there was a figure that I couldn't find on the outside of the box or the instructions that really would have pinpointed what this light can do. Let's throw up a little bit of slow motion and you will see one of the big problems with this light and unfortunately the reason why I can't use these styles of lights to light anything that I do. Because I use a lot of slow motion, I can't have flickering going on when I'm shooting. And that's one of the big problems with some fluorescent lights. 
You know, it's a shame that the 55 watt fluoro light has that flickering problem when I'm shooting high speed video. And a lot of people said to me, hey, those compact fluorescent bulbs that everyone uses now in their homes are flicker free. Well, let's just see if that's true. Well, what I do notice when I shoot some high speed video on that compact fluorescent bulb, sure enough, there's a lot less flicker, but I still do see some flickering going on. Well, this big fluoro work light is rather nice, but unfortunately it is not suited to the type of work that I do. It's got that flicker when I'm shooting high speed video, and really, for its size, I thought it'd be nice. It would be pumping out a bit more light than it does, but possibly there are other people out there it is better suited to. Well, next up on this light merry-go-round that we're going on is LED lights, and this is the big, I suppose, the big exciting thing, the new thing, the expensive thing that's going on at the moment, and... I really want to look at this bigger one here versus that tungsten work light that we looked at at the start of this video. I think you guys are going to get a big surprise about what these lights can do. There's one thing which was a little bit disappointing about these lights and that is the colour that they pull. Let me just change the camera to daylight. So there we are, we're daylight now so we're seeing the light for what it is. But that little light that I bought, it's got a blue hue to it and I was told that little light it was basically the same as daylight. Well, it's not, guys. Well, another version of daylight, I suppose. But that's the thing you've got to be careful of with these lights is, I suppose you've got to get them all from the same manufacturer and try and work out what they pump out. There's not enough information on the boxes from what I can see. And what we're looking at there of those two work lights is that little tiny one is deemed a 10-watt light and that larger one is deemed a 30-watt light. Now, sure enough, they're using very little power to do what they do. There's one thing you notice on the boxes that LED lights love to do. And it's a little bit of the game that's going on with lighting at the moment. Well, here's the box that the smaller of those two LED work lights came in. It's telling me it's a 10 watt LED floodlight, 500 lumens light output. That's the big number that you'll see on LED lights all the time. And it's a pretty wide angled lens output, 120 degrees. Looking down at the larger work light that I purchased, it's telling me it's 30 watts. It's a great big number here, 2,800 lumens. Interesting to see lumens on these boxes. Like I said, that seems to be connected very tightly with these LED lights. I'm not going to reveal the price at the moment, but it wasn't cheap. What is interesting with these LED lights is when I went to the shop to purchase a small one, I asked the sales staff, oh, well, can you power it up for me and show me how bright it is? Well, what they did was they just did like this. They pointed it at me and said, hey, look, look how bright that light is. Yep, sure enough, if you're staring down the guts of it, it seems very bright. But it's actually not a very bright light at all sadly to say. And that had me going back and looking at the box, I'm thinking, well, let's have a look at these numbers again. 10 watt, okay, it's telling me it's not using much power. Well, it seems like a big figure, 500 lumens. That should be fine, shouldn't it? What is very nice about these lights is it's a nice clean light from them. It is absolutely cool. There's a little bit of heat coming on these vanes at the back. And unfortunately, if you go up close, you might hear it. There's a certain electronics buzz from this model here. I'm not sure if you're going to hear that, but I can just tell you, if I had a number of these in the workshop, it would sound like a little beehive. So, okay, here's our big 30 watt, 2800 lumen LED work light. And because it's nice and cool, just like that fluoro light, I can go and make some very dodgy brothers cardboard barn doors or cutters, if you want to be more technical. And let's see how this one lights up the penguins. Well, there we are. There's our big 30 watt LED work light lighting up those penguins and I'm not very happy because I paid a lot of money for that light and I've got a funny feeling that's the the dimmest we've had so far let's have a reminder of what big 500 watt tungsten halogen work light looks like let's have a look at it now now let's have a look at the fluoro again that 55 watt fluoro looking at it now and let's have a look again at this LED 2800 lumen 30 watt work light Ouch. If I've got to light my whole workshop of these, I'm up for thousands and thousands of dollars, I feel. And apart from a very lacklustre light output, what is really, really disappointing for me is if I go and shoot my high-speed video, I can see lots of strobing, and to me, it looks a little bit worse than the fluoro light. So I'm thinking, oh, I've wasted a lot of time looking for alternative lights, and all I seem to come across is things that don't suit me. You know, I paid a lot of money for this light. It's sort of nice in a way, it doesn't use much power, 
but that strobing aspect with the high speed video caught me out. And before, when I've used LEDs in my videos, and I have used them before in smaller handheld units like this, when I have like the rows of LEDs, I don't get strobing from these types of lights, so I don't know why they don't strobe and this style of light does. I'm sure someone out there can explain it for me. Well, there are the three lights we looked at in this video. One of them, of course, is one I've been using for a long time, and the other two are new fresh blow-ins into the workshop. Unfortunately, they can't be used because they've got some, well, technical issues in the way that they work versus the way I work. And what's interesting is that there's one number I wish that all of these products would have. And it's a little number that sort of tells me more about the light output than any other number at all. Well, it was telling me that this 30 watt LED light has 2,800 lumens. And I probably believe it. As for this 55 watt fluorescent light, well, I can't work out how many lumens it's got. I can't find that figure anywhere. But maybe there's a clue by looking somewhere else. Maybe by looking at this compact fluorescent bulb packaging, I can see how many lumens per watt there are with these types of fluoros. So there it's telling me it's a 20 watt bulb, it's equivalent to a 100 watt tungsten, and it's got 1,250 lumens. So is it correct for me to say from that deduction, I could probably say, well that's about 2,800 lumens coming from that light. But that's only me having a rough guesstimate. And it really did seem that that fluorescent light and that LED light were putting out sort of the same amount of light. And that's for the work light that I've known and loved for so many years. You know what, it's really hard to find the lumens for these unless you look at the fine print on the bulbs and it's almost hidden away. So here I am looking at my 500 watt halogen work lights that go into my work lamps that I have in my workshop and I'm looking for lumens and it's not really that easy to see unless you look at the very very small fine print. Well on the back of this tungsten lamp I can see a figure that looks like what I'm looking for 9660 lumens? That's amazing! And it's almost as if this is a total secret. Well, let's go in for the clincher how much these lights cost. These tungsten halogen work lights are very, very cheap now. You can get them for as cheap as $20, let's call it $30. And you're looking at it, let's call it 10,000 lumens. Bang. A lot of light, cheap, but it uses a lot of power. These fluorescent lights here, you're looking at about $60 to buy them. Well, let's call it 2,800 lumens, but I'm only having a rough guess. Is. I'm sure someone will correct me if I'm wrong. Um, the bulbs are $15, nice and cool, it's nice, doesn't use that much power, it's got a place for someone. Now these LED lights, and people are telling me LED is the future. Well it's not going to be my future for a while yet until I get something like my big tungsten light. This costs a lot of money, $150, it's got 2,800 lumens, which is sort of useless to me. What else can I say? I don't know how to replace the bulb, I don't know how much the bulbs are, I haven't seen the bulbs for them. Well are they bulbs or are they LEDs? They've got a long way to go before, to me, they are viable. What I really need is one of those to be comparable to that. And I, people will say, oh yes, but Leo, you'll save money because they don't use as much power and blah, blah, blah. Well, guys, it's got a long way to go before they are anywhere matching those tungsten 500 watt lights. There's so much more light out of that light, it's not funny. I hope you've learned something about lights in this video. And I will have to say goodbye to you, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye for now. Okay, so there are my penguins. And remembering there's a meter between the light and the penguins. And also, I'll say it again, I5... I5... The other thing to notice is look how big it is compared to the smaller... And we'll do a take two. Well, this little slow motion scene here is the first time I went in to bash the penguins and of course that fake non-licensed toy broke really fast. The bat was rubbish. But you sort of didn't need to know that because I talk about those in other videos. And this whole video came about because there are a number of people who have been asking me about lights and in particular the LED lights that we're seeing on the market now. And I was curious myself to exactly what they could do and are they suitable for certain types of video work. And to my surprise, the one that I purchased, that larger one, was near next to useless. And boy, did it cost a lot of money to, uh, to find that out. If I listened to the sales staff in some of these shops, I would have thousands of dollars worth of LED lights in my garage attempting to light my videos. This cost me 150 bucks. Uh, and I'm thinking, wow. Ouch. Um, <laughs> I forgot to say they pointed it at me and said hey look look how light that bright is 
Well, I'm really sorry about the big mess that you saw during this video. It was really all about lights and people are wondering, well, what does that bench look like when you've taken the toys off and it's just sitting there by itself? Well, there it is. Sure, there's a few lights and some penguins there, but there's the bench without all the other rubbish.